Hi, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, we will be talking about the transpose of matrices. Uh what do we mean by a transpose? So given that you have a matrix A here, so your size of a matrix is M by N. So the transpose of A is denoted by this symbol. And if you can see, this is a matrix which is an element of the set of matrices of size N by M, where the entries of the transpose the ij entries is actually the ji entry of the original matrix. So, kung titignan mo, ang size ng, M, uh, ng A dito rather is M by N, tapos ang size naman ng transpose is N by M. So, para siyang nabaliktad. And you also have the hint that the ij entry is the ji entry of the original. So, ibig sabihin nito, parang nagsaswap ka lang so, parang tinagpalit mo yung row at yung column. Let's take this for example. I have a matrix A. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Kunyari. So, as you can see, this is an element of F2 by 3. So, dapat yung A transpose mo dyan will now be an element of F3 by 2. Ang sabi dito, the ij entry is the ji of the original. So basically, kung titignan mo, ito, parang ganito lang siya, oh. A11, A12, A13, so A21, A22, A23. So that means your new matrix, which is the transpose, swap lang ang order. So, this becomes now A11, A21, sorry, it should be A1, I'm sorry, it's A11, A12, A13, and I would have A21, A22, and A23. Ganon. So, that means this is now 3 by 2. Which means, ang mangyayari dito, this is now 1, 3, 5, 2, 4, 6. So, this is now the transpose of your matrix A. So, as a remark, ibig sabihin, whenever you have a matrix of size N by M, M by N, automatically, nagiging N by M siya. So, the only matrix na ma-retain yung size is whenever a matrix is a square, of course. So, let's talk about the first property of a matrix. Your A transpose, transpose is equal to A. What does it mean? So, diba, you, let's say your A here, the entries is AIJ. This implies that your A transpose is equal to AJI. Tama? Kasi mag-swap lang siya. But if you take the transpose of this again, this becomes a ij, which is the original a. So that means the transpose of the transpose is the original matrix. So whenever you have a matrix, let's say 1, 0, 2, 1. So the transpose for this is 1, 2, 0, 1, which makes it as 1, 2, 0, 1. So, parang ang nangyayari, kinuha mo yung transpose niya, and then kukunin mo ulit yung transpose niya. Ayan. Okay, so let's have number 2 properties. So, let's talk about the transpose of the sum. So according to the property, um, the transpose of the sum is equal to the sum of the transpose. So, Parang transpose ng sum na ito is actually the sum of the individual transpose. How do we do that? Sige nga, i-prove natin to. Let A be equal to AIJ and then yung B natin, PIJ. 
So, of course, hindi naman siya magiging valid, no? Pag if they don't have the same size. So, B, M by N matrices. Yan. So, pareho sila ng size. M by N. So, if you take the sum, A plus B, di ba, ang um, sum natin, nag, ano lang tayo, nag-a-add ng tayo ng per entry. So, that means this is A I J plus B I J. So, if you take the transpose of this, that is A plus B, transpose, this is the same as AJI plus B, JI. But the A transpose is actually AJI. Ang B transpose naman is BJI. So, this implies the fact that if you have A plus B transpose, that's a, the same as AJI plus BJI. So, kung paghihiwalayin mo yan as property of the sum, a JI yan plus BJI, this is, sorry, inulit ko lang pagsulat. So, paghihiwalayin mo yan, this is AJI plus B, J, I. And, di ba ito yung A transpose plus B transpose? So, therefore, we have proven this property. So, example, our A here is, let's say, liitan lang natin, 2, 1. Our B here is 1, 0, 0, 1. Uh, 2 na lang. Okay. So, if you take the transpose of this, ang mangyayari, this is 1, 2, 0, 1, tama? This one naman is 1, 0, 0, 2. Yan. Okay. Now, if you add this one, this is the same as 2, 2, 0, 3. Tama ba? But if you take the transpose of this, this is 2, 2, 0, 3. Which is actually the sum of this. And so therefore, this property is true. Now, another property is that when you multiply a matrix by a scalar, and then you take the transpose. So basically, I have alpha A transpose gen so magiging alpha a transpose so your alpha here is the is a scalar so how do we prove that kung totoo yan so let k let alpha be an element of f then alam natin that when you multiply alpha papasok lang naman yan di ba so if you take the transpose you have k a transpose so that means you're actually get, getting the transpose of this. But this is the same as alpha AJI. So if you extract the alpha, that is AJI, which is alpha A transpose. So therefore, ito tootong um, claim na ito. So let's have, for example, our A here is 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's say our alpha is 2. So that means A, um, alpha A, this is the same as 2, 6, 4, 8. Tama? But if you take the transpose of this, so alpha A transpose, this is 2, 6, 4, 8. Sige, let's take the transpose of this. This is 1, 3, 2, 4. So let's say I have to multiply this. Uh, this is 2. So 2, 4, 6, 8. Which is the same. So therefore, totoo to. Na claim na ito. Okay, so let's have property number four. A, B, 
And then you take the transpose. So, ano kaya ang sagot dyan? Okay, so, remember, this is multiplication. So, the only way para maging define ang multiplication is that, ano nga yun? The order of A must be like this. Dapat magkakapareho ang number of columns ni A sa number of rows ni B. And then, and the result will be M by B. Okay. To make it valid, let's assume the matrix are of the that dimension. So let A be an M by an M by N matrix, and our B B and N by B. Yan. So ang mayayari chan, ma our A B is an M by B matrix. Such that, yung entry nga, A, B, I, J, is the sum, tama, of A, I, K, B, K, J. K from 1 to N. Diba, this is, label ko lang ha, para hindi kayo hindi nyo malimutan. Uh, this is definition of multiplication. Tama. Now, I wanna take the transpose. So, taking the transpose... We have, okay, anong mangyayari? This is A, B, transpose, that's the same as if you take the transpose of this, tama? And so, this is the same as, binaliktad kasi natin, so magiging A, J, K, B, K, I, I from, I'm sorry, K from 1 to N, okay? So let's la let's label this as star muna. So let's talk about the transpose. So remember our B T is having an entry of B K J transpose. And so this is the same as B J K. Similarly, ang A natin dito is Having an entry of A, I, K, transpose, so that's the same as A, K, I. This means that our B transpose, A transpose, I, J, so that's the same as the sum of B transpose, I, K, K from 1 to N, and this is... A transpose KJ. If you take the sum of that, or if you simplify that one, this is KI AJK. K from 1 to N. But, uh, kung titignan mo, di ba scalars naman to? So, commutative yan. Kasi wala naman tayo. Di naman yan matrix. Scalars naman to. Bali laman siya ng matrix. This means that I can have this one, A, J, K, B, K, I. Hindi commutative yung index, yung pagiging scalar lang. Bale, ito lang ang nag-swap. So, this is K from 1 to N. If you can see, this is actually the asterisk. Yan. So, this means that the transpose of A, B is B transpose, A transpose. That's it. Okay, another property, that's property number five. The transpose of an identity matrix is the same as the identity. Now, remember, I draft ko lang yung proof, ha? Remember, your I here has an entry delta IJ. In this case, your delta IJ is either 1 or 0 lang ang laman. So, 1 if i is equal to j and 0 otherwise. Yan. If you take the transpose for that, this means you're actually getting this one, no? But that's the same as delta j i. But remember, that's still the same as when, ano, parang ganito pa rin. I is equal to J is 
becomes 1, and when i is not equal to j, it becomes 0. So therefore, this one is the same as this. So obvious answer is 1, 0, 0, 1. So if you take the transpose for that, it's still 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay, let's have another property, number 6. So if A is symmetric, A transpose is equal to A. So what do we mean when we say symmetric? Example, we have 1, let's say 2. So let's say this is 3, this should be 3. So in other words, magkakapareho yung taas sa baba. Okay, so ang sabi dito, if you take the transpose daw of a symmetric matrix, then that's the same as the original matrix. So example, our A here is 2, 3, 3, 4. So this is symmetric kasi magkapareho yung taas at baba sa diagonal. So if you take the transpose for that, that's still the same as 2, 3, 3, 4. Okay, property number 7. If A is skew symmetric, then A transpose is negative A. Anong ibig sabihin ng skew symmetric? Ibig sabihin lang is para siyang symmetric pero magkaiba ang sign ng taas at baba. So example, this is diagonal. So 0, 1, uh, 2. So pwede ditong maging 0, negative 1, negative 2. So kung titingnan mo, magkakapareho, magkaiba lang, nga lang ang sign. So let's have a simple um, matrix. 0, 2, negative 2, 0. So that is skew symmetric, no? So the transpose for that is 0, negative 2, 2, 0. Which is, if you see, if I'm going to extract negative 1, so that is 0, 2, negative 2, 0. So isipin mo, this is the negative, and then this is the alpha. Ah, sorry, the A. Yan. So that's all. So if you have question or clarification, please let me know. And that's all for this video. So thank you so much for watching. So if you have any questions or clarification, you can comment down there so we can discuss on these clarifications. And of course, I would love to encourage you to subscribe so that you'll be updated on a lot of videos that I'll be uploading soon regarding on discussions of mathematics as well as the research journey. Thank you and have a great day.